master's job is uh, there, there. So the girl, the mountain in Greenock. All right. That's I started there as a weaver. Then when that thing was there, I, that's when I moved up there. I call it a curtain, but he says a curtain. It's a curtain. I'm very polite. So you say, uh, no, 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 you're not you know, No, no, I'm a poor, I'm a poor Tory. <laughs> <laughs> I believe a poor Tory call it a curtain, eh? Okay, I've never heard of it. No, I never heard of it. I'm Scottish, you see, I call it a carpen. What happened to the carpen? The carpen. What did you do? <coughs> I swept the room and all that, and I used to think of the bar, isn't it? And the fame they was off, they, they put me on a machine. That. I was a handy woman. Right. What, did, what did Dennis, what did you do? function on the carding itself. What about the machine? When you were on the machine, what did you do what then? Did you, what did the machine do? Well, you know what? What's call a brush it up then? Aye. Sort of I was just a brush it up. Brush it up. Aye. Mm -hmm. Aye. Aye. Oh, right. It's it's right. 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 The wee graveyard was there. That's right. Uh, that's right. There's no trace in that wee graveyard now no, at all. No, no. Oh, but did they not clear that out? Remember the ah, but St. Mean, Mary's Church was there they too. Out from St. Mary's there. Church was there. Uh, and there was, and was a wee toilet there. Oh, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a wee toilet there. <laughs> 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 I never missed it. St. Mary's. I reckon I would start on the Goat Road in 1946. 46, maybe 47, because we didn't know that year. And I stayed in the Goat Road until 1949, when I went to the Navy for the two years conscription, you remember yeah. the, mm -hmm. the old conscription, and I come back again in 1951, and I started back in the Gurt Rotwater again. Yeah. And I worked there to the Gurt Rotwater right through to about 1964, 65. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. And that's when I went to Blacks of Green yeah. So is it, did you deal more with the canvas side or? Oh, well, well, I was well, the ropes. No, ropes. what I done was we uh, the canvas was all laid out and we marked it right. for the eyelets to uh -huh. get punched in uh -huh. and for the ropes to go through. Uh -huh. <coughs> I had a facility done. up the stair for putting in eyelets That's right. where we Marion worked in the corner uh -huh. and then she dropped it down the hatch, down into the paint That's right. I and, and and they, pulled, they pulled it up, folded it up and left it for the girls to paint on. Aye, aye, aye. 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 That was a different part. Aye. We made aye. the, we actually made the rope, and, aye, aye, uh, the rope to get, um, aye. and then well, coiled it all, aye, made it into coils, you know. Mm -hmm. That was really good. So we yeah. went to Mayor about, I was 17, we're coming to Glen Mill and the Myers. Um, the Hecklin. Oh, I was, I was, just, Hecklin, I was just speaking to a woman this morning, she worked in the Hecklin. Millie. Millie. Aye. Aye. Uh -huh. Aye. Aye. Um, I was only in there for a couple of months and I was shifted up at the spinning mm -hmm. where yeah. they put the empty bobbles in. Aye. And then when it, it was the finished, took to them out. And I think they went to the weaving. The weaving or the winding or something Aye. like that. Aye. 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 I was a little, you know, as I say, I, we worked hard and we done our job, but there wasn't the same pressure on you as no, what there is now in any no. of the factories. It was a different know? style of management, though, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, of course. It was the one guy in charge, and he knew everybody, That's and he right. talked to them. Mm -hmm. And we about a lucky smell that you. Well, no, I again. never got a smell. No, no. <laughs> Stuart Evie. Could you be my favourite? We plump man. Stuart Evie. I remember him. Uh, he, he, he was in the wind, wasn't he? Aye. But um, <laughs> he was quite strict. Very, very strict. Aye. He was strict. Very rarely smiled. Well, we ours was the oh, same. Oh, that's right. And then mm -hmm. the other wee guy was wee Ken Bartley. Aye. Well, aye. Kenny. He was quite an age. Aye, Kenny. Well, up, up to recently, Kenny was mm -hmm. still going about. That's right. He stays in Kilmacomb now. That's right. Mm -hmm. And he was, he was also a member of Port Glasgow Golf Club. Aye. And he mm -hmm. used to tell his stories there. And he ended the story usually with saying, you know, I'm 78, you know. Oh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. But he, he always ended it with telling everybody how old he is. During the war, they had um, a big tunnel, and it was only employees. Do you remember that? No, the I didn't want to go. To work. I'm not that I'm old. I'm sure my age. <laughs> 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 I better say no more. 
But uh, if it's your nibblets, you see, you could come and, and take shelter in the mill uh, tunnel, but uh, you had to be an employee. Yeah, right. So that's so where right. a lot of people went when the, the bombs yeah. were, were yeah. falling. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. No, I, I, I don't, sorry, I don't remember. Uh, the canteen, as it is, and it's still there, yeah, actually. Uh, we only use the canteen if, in an emergency, somebody says you have to work late in the night, in the morning, late lads. So you went up to the canteen to get your tea. We otherwise you bought your own piece in mm -hmm. the night time if you knew that you, mm -hmm. uh, and we had some tea and that up in the canteen. But I, that, I've been in the canteen quite a lot, and believe it or not, I used to play for the table tennis. I used to play table tennis for the rope work against people, and that's where we played was in the canteen. So. I'm sorry, I don't remember. Well, we <laughs> didn't use the canteen because we got an hour for lunch. Right. We had to go home. But I really do remember later on that they, they did so, uh, show some films in yeah, here. Yeah. The same I, with I, the Playtex. I, I mm -hmm. Remember that they did that in the Playtex as well, if you know what I mean? Yeah. They used to show films in, in the canteen up there too. See, the other thing about it is I lived in Boogrie and it wasn't too oh, far right, to go up with me. That's right. Uh, and uh, I got the house, so I got the house from the Gourd Robert as were, well, from John Reed. I know you know, know who he, but he was the manager in charge of the wages department. And if you had any business like that, you went down, you saw him. And he said, well, I'll get you a bloody house, no bother. Uh -huh. And within a week, I had a house. house. Uh, do you remember when the pay yeah, come in a wee tin? Aye. Remember, you oh. got a wee tin, and you counted down like that That's to see right. if your pay was all right. I get seven and six months a week. <laughs> 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 and then our royaler, he get called up and we had to pull big, big ropes up. You know, as a, as a rope came out of the machine that went round all these things, I don't know what you call them. And this, we had to pull this rope up. This was stretching the rope. Stretching, uh -huh. So when he left, we had to take this job over. And we get 10 shillings a week extra. No. <laughs> and the first, <laughs> time, <laughs> the first time I thought, I've got 10 shillings more this week. My daddy says, don't count your chickens before they're hatched. I says, but I'm getting it. I mean, I'm getting it. They took it off me in income tax. <laughs> <laughs> One hand in the other. <laughs> 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 I started in the mill in 1940, left school on the Friday and started on the Monday. Went and first of all it was like sweeping up, <laughs> just like a wee dog's body sweeping up. And run a brush. And <laughs> until finally then we were put on to up with a weaver and she taught us how to weave the looms. Now, I was there for maybe about 1960 and then I was put into the school. There was a school first of all, in fact this is it I've got here. Uh, one, yeah. This was the first school, although I'm not in that one. That's a, a Kitty Harold that was in that one, was training. And this is all the little girls here. But then. After a while, they opened up another school, mm -hmm. and I was taken in there to be the trainer in that one. Because that was the one you trained me uh, in. That's right. Uh huh. But uh, and that was me then until it actually closed in 1972. Mm -hmm. So you actually were in. I was in there. But you, you taught me how to weave it. But when they get in the great big looms, the new ones, uh -huh. they moved me up the stair because I crumbled an appendix. I they were frightened in case I'd bust my appendix. So you went that's up. where I met him. You went to the where though? The winding. The winding. The winding. Uh -huh. And that's where I met him. Mm. And I've been married for nearly 38 years now. Very good. <laughs> Very good. And what about this one here? That, uh, that had nothing to do with that, but it's the spinning department. That's the spinning department. Mm -hmm. this, this was them spinning all the yarn, you know, for, to, for the make the flax for the canvas weaving, yeah. but it uh, had nothing really to do with no that. Windows. that no windows, no windows and well, no, no windows, no windows in the weaving either, just like on the roof, that was where all the light was coming in yeah. from there. Um, and this is the private one, right? That's actually a, a, that's the rope, 
after the ropes were all coiled. This uh, is the. Did they not coil them? Right, a, right along. Right uh, along there was the a rope walk. Yeah. What they called the rope walk. That's and right. that went from here right to the station almost. Yeah. And that was where the, that was like a length of rope that was getting coiled right along there. I think it was about a quarter of a mile long or longer, I think. I think it was so. quite a good uh -huh. the length of it. And, and then this would be it, I suppose, when it was all the, whatever breadth they needed it and all the rest of it. And then they put it into this big. And then it would go to whatever it was going, maybe to a sailing ship or yeah. whatever. I know Tuff's uh, ropes were Lindex Street and Greenock as well. Uh -huh. It's up um, Broom Hill, I think I had a place there too. Uh -huh. No, they're all over. But we no all over the wall. Uh -huh. yeah. So, what did you do in the winding? Were you actually a, a winder? Or? Or were you maybe somebody that put the, the yarn on the beams? Or? No, we put, we put the yarn on it through a, a, a machine that was like starch that went through. And you, you put the yarn on, on the for the looms, uh -huh. uh, on, on the beams on itself. The beams, uh -huh. And before it went down to the, the weaving. Went into the weaving Aye. and then they, they would be put into the loom. And the loom, and, and it was the process up, up the stairs. They would go first of all to the heddle house. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And get the heddles on. This was mm -hmm. a, the, the big thing that took. There was like eyes, little eyes, and put true, all the threads, threads in. Yeah. Yeah. Right, that's where Through I worked that. upstairs when I moved me upstairs. That's you worked up there. And you had to Head click, house. Or you, if you wanted to click, click you got mm. your finger all caught. And it, was, it came to the weaving. It was funny, the, the, the steam pipes that we used to have going round the building. And you, for your dinner, you might add a pie or something, you put your, the pie on the heel. <laughs> <laughs> that was your dinner, you know. You had it on in a and butter drawer. And a butter drawer. It was, <laughs> tasted great, too, you know. It's funny how you well, remember these things. Not a bit ropey, no. Eh? Not a bit ropey. No, I'm not a bit ropey, no, no. That was, that was a different department. What I think about it too often <laughs> is that uh, it's funny, on a Friday afternoon, that was the afternoon, the foreman used to disappear for a while. And we would all have all these cakes. <laughs> and Christmas. chocolates and we were having a, a feast. This was before we got our wages, you see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. That always sticks in my mind. Yeah. It's funny, on a Friday afternoon, you, you finish you work. Your own wages. Uh, you're a peace worker when you were a weaver. Yeah. You were a peace worker. So you had to work or you wouldn't have any pay. That's right. <laughs> When you finished work on a Friday, the first thing you went was went to the shops and bought your tights for going out on a Saturday night. <laughs> 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 well, your pals. Uh -huh. That was the first thing you thought on shop. Uh, no, I can't remember what it was called. Was it Dexter's? Mm -hmm. The shop used to be in Port Glasgow. There used to be, there used to be a wee shop up, just up round the corner from here. And it was, it came, oh, it's a wee clothes shop, Brown's. You know, mind no, that it wasn't that one. This one, right? You think they actually went in the town? Aye, it was. I'm sure it was called Dexter. Uh -huh. Brown. It was just tights that sold or uh -huh. stockings, uh -huh. and that was all that sold. <laughs> and that was the first place you made from a Friday uh -huh. afternoon you finished work. It's funny yeah. how you think when it been the, the, the winding department and the, and the weaving department when it was over. It's all been knocked down now. It wasn't part of this building. No, no, and no, it's, no, it's, no, it's, no, it's the winding uh, road. Uh, what they call the winding road. And they the built the Liddell supermarket on that bit. That's where the weaving used to be. Where Liddell's is just now. And then the lab was up from that as well, with the PVC department as well. It was all up in that area. There was actually the, the winding. Well, the first of all, this photograph here with the sail, the spinning. They would be the first mm -hmm. to begin, and then it would come to the winding. Well, it went for it went also to like bleaching and boiling it to go through all these right. different processes before it actually went even up to the winding. They were up at the penthouse the, this morning as well, uh -huh. and I remember the funny story when the Q, the QE2 was launched. We were all up on the roof uh -huh. looking at it. You know, uh -huh. <laughs> that was a funny a funny day. You know. Well, I started in the dispatch department, we had it easy because you did the harbour, uh -huh. we had to get rid of it, mm. so, we had, so we rolled, it was yardage in those days, you know, 150 uh, yards 
Never. the road, then they were stamped and put into the packing department. And then the hoist was outside, flat to, uh, that's where the dispatch was. Mm -hmm. And uh, the hoist took it down to a lorry down there, and that was the way after that, you mm -hmm. know. In the welfare department, she was she was here today and didn't realise there was over 2,000 people employed down here right. at one time. Right. That's quite a lot, you know. And the actual, it was actually made into tents. You know, well, uh, yesterday there was a lot more things getting made, mm -hmm. but there was, I know there was tents, there was marquees and all these different things. Shops, it was all, all right. sorts of tents and all marquees. Looms, you see. The one time you're, you're using you're actually doing working two looms.